This is Weatherfax, which is uh, a shortwave transmission that you can get out at sea. I've got a, uh, an app on my iPad and a little cheap uh, shortwave radio and you put them together and when the reception's good, which is usually very early in the morning, it's what, six o'clock in the morning, you can pick up some quite good um, fax transmissions which can give you a good insight into the weather when you're hundreds of miles from anywhere and there's no radio, no mobile phone and that kind of malarkey. So here I seem to be receiving some um, some wind data. There's a kind of there's a kind of wire running up in the uh, side of the shot here, I'm right up to the top of the mast. Well, that is my uh, that is my custom made shortwave radio aerial. That is what my weather fax is coming on. And it's a rough piece of wire uh, that I found under the seats and I've strung it up to the topping lift and my weather faxes are coming in quite nicely from me. As it's a calm morning I thought it'd be a good time to show you how I put up my um, shortwave antenna. This is it. This looks like a bundle of old uh, washing line and stuff and basically that's exactly what it is. I use the um, topping lift. Now the topping lift is a rope on the boat which holds the boom up when the sail's not out. So a lot of the time when you're sailing this topping lift is redundant. Uh, it's, I'm just going to get hold of it. It's attached to the top of the boom here. This runs straight up to the top of the mast, so as it's not being used for anything else while the sail's up, didn't let go of it, rolt. I shall use it for my antenna. Now, this antenna is just made out of bits and pieces who, that were lying around on the boat, which is why it looks a bit funky. It is just a piece of wire, ordinary piece of insulated wire, and I've attached it to a thin quarter inch rope because I don't want to pull the piece of wire by itself up to the top of the mast and have something break because having the topping lift lost at the top of the mast would be a nuisance. Okay, so there we are, that's now attached, and it's just a question of pulling it up. Up it goes. Here we are. No one to stop, we just lock off the topping this halyard and make the quarter inch line fast on a cleat. And there we have shortwave antenna going up in the air that works. Cost zero money. No dollars, no pounds, no pence. Done. So from the antenna the wire runs down and it joins on with one of those little clips to the uh, simple antenna wire that came with the radio and then down 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 we go down 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 below where here's a passable weather fax coming in as you can see we've got the uh, little radio down here tuned to uh, uh, SSB shortwave Northwood UK and above it there is uh, my old iPad 10 year old iPad with uh, HF fax from Black Cat Systems running on it and this is getting the 24 hour uh, prognosis sorry about the reflections it's not that clear um, but you can you can tell the, this is um, the UK here there's Ireland here's uh, the Bay of Biscay and there is Spain and Portugal the nose of Portugal this is the 40 degree uh, 
latitude. So I am somewhere about there at the moment. So I should be getting westerly winds by tomorrow on lunchtime, I would say. So uh, yeah, I find this very useful. There's no sign up cost, there's no subscription. There's nothing to pay once you've bought the um, the app to decode the weather facts. So if you've got a um, little SSB radio, just let your uh, let your iPad listen to its speaker. Simple as that. I did have at one time a um, an adapter for the iPad, which where I could put a cable, a little mini jack. Um, to, to input the audio direct, but it, no, it didn't work. So uh, I find this method is quiddly. It couldn't be simpler, could it? And it, it works. Yeah, okay, so it's not like ultra clear, but you can certainly see everything that you need to see here. So yeah, recommended. Once the factors are all done, it's a question of tidying up. Down. We need to relax the uh, we'll relax the topping lift and start coiling it up. I'm just leaving the topping lift connected there because I don't want it flying off somewhere where I can't get hold of it. So we'll just get this tidied up. Okay, so that's pretty much ready to go next time. Another little cable for that goes to the radio. A minute there. Right. I'll just get the boom in so I can reattach. The topping lift to the boom. Now if I, if I need to change the reefing in the night or something, that's all ready to go. So I'll just take the slack out of that. Okay. Let the sail back out. Oh, yes, away, Santi, my dear Annie. Are you New York?